good morning it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood and we are ready to start a brand new week of ebony ivy and thyme in the kitchen stay tuned this week in our kitchen we are going to love on our family and we are going to make delicious warm dishes not necessarily warm as in heat but we are going to make some dishes that will warm the hearts of those that we love. So, if you're interested in what I'm doing in my kitchen, I invite you to come and to be a part of our family. I welcome you every evening to, to be a part of what we're doing. And uh, I pray that you are well, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the kitchen. I am going to fix a chicken noodle soup. I wanted some, and you know, I told you on the days that the big guy golfs, he needs something that's fairly light. And he loves soup, so I'm putting in one cap of oil. Now you can tell just by looking how it started to smoke and simmer, that the oil is ready, so, or the pan is ready. It's nice and hot. I am going to add in here some um, onion, celery, lots of chicken. And some vegetables along with the noodles. All right, so I got this ready. I've got onions coming from all directions. A little bit of onions that I've had. So all of my little pieces of onions, this is a good way of getting rid of the things that you've cut up. Uh, remember I had a rotisserie chicken the other night. I only used a portion. But all of those bones and pieces are going to go into this pot. Now I'm going to use broth rather than water because I want to add that extra bit of flavor. I'm going to use a whole box of chicken broth and this broth, let's see, there's uh, 32 ounces. That's just to get us started. And you know I'll add as we go. Because we're going to need enough moisture for the noodles to cook because I'm going to cook the noodles right here in this pot. I'm going to let this come up to temperature. I've added the trinity. i got onions. I've got uh, celery. I've got carrots. I've got chicken. I'm turning the heat up on the pot. I am getting ready to add in some more water to cover all of this. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt to begin. And then I will add more. Okay, that's my teaspoon of salt. Then I'll start to add pepper and all those good things to the mix. So this is going to be a quick weeknight chicken noodle soup. It's going to have over an hour to cook and to simmer. I'm going to kind of keep it at a good boil uh, for a while and I'm going to put the top on it so it can contain itself. And uh, you know what? Dinner is going to be delicious. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. So let me get those and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I got my seasonings. I'm going to put in probably a good scoop. Not a, not a real teaspoon yet. Uh, well, I think I'm probably needed. I'm going to do a teaspoon of our seasonings. 
because the pasta is going to soak up an awful lot. Now, I like to add just a little bit, a touch, of paprika into mine. And the reason for that is because of the fact that the paprika gives it a really nice color. So I'm going to sprinkle a little paprika. And if I can find some turmeric, I'm going to also throw in some of that into this soup. And it's going to give it great flavor. Uh, let's see. I want garlic we need some extra garlic and uh, let me get that okay I've got my garlic I'm going to put about a half teaspoon of garlic in we need lots of seasoning and I did not have any tum oh yes I do I have some turmeric so turmeric is so good for you. So I'm putting in a good, I'm going to say a teaspoon of turmeric. And the only thing I have not added in is pepperoncinos. And you know I'm going to put some of those in. I have some already. They are ready to go. I'll sprinkle some in. Okay. That's good to go. That's about a half teaspoon of pepperoncinos, little red red pepper flakes, and um, my seasonings are ready. Salt's in there. Um, let me add some more broth, and we'll be ready to put the top on it and let it go. Okay, I have another 32-ounce box of chicken broth. I'm using chicken broth really because of the fact that this isn't going to have all day to cook. Okay, I've got that in there. Now, actually, I'm going to add about three more cups of water. And in fact, I think what I'll do is just fill this bottle with water, or this box with water, and add that in. Okay, now this is just water that I'm adding in. But remember, I've got chicken bones in here, and they are going to just come together well. I'm not using the entire box. I probably used about a half of this box of water. And the reason I want so much liquid is because once I add that pasta in, of which I'm not going to do until about the last 10 minutes, then it's going to take up some of that moisture. But I want everything to be well seasoned and ready for dinner. Now what we're going to do is that once this comes up to a boil, it needs to cook for a solid hour. I mean, it really needs a pretty good hard simmer and I'm gonna let it go for an hour. Now, the chicken I'm gonna to have to take out, especially that that's on the bone. All those bony pieces that I put in there and I want them to impart their flavor, I'm gonna to have to take all of that out and I'm going to take the chicken off the bone. I have a little bit of extra chicken that I'll throw in there as well. Then I'll give it about 30 more minutes and throw in the pasta. So this is going to be a great pan of soup. I'm going to use a slotted spoon at this point to um, take the chicken bones and the pieces out so I can take all the meat off. There's some chicken that's in here that's already kind of fallen off the bone, and that's fine. I'm just going to lay those over there. See, there's one. He's pretty bony already. That's fine. Those bones have had a chance to uh, impart their flavor. Just need to pull the meat off and chop it up. I left these pieces because when I was making the chicken salad because I knew it would be so good Ooh. in our uh, soup. So there we go. Got a little bit of uh, skin. I want to take that out. I have to 
catch things because they're swimming around, giving up their flavor. There we go. There he is. Knew there were two. Just more of the skin. And I'll throw all the vegetables back in as soon as I put the chicken in. Okay, one more piece. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna let it continue to work. And I am going to work on the whole plate. See if we can see it. A whole plate of chicken that's sitting over there. So I'll bring you back. All right, I'm gonna take the top off. You'll see the breads come out and it's a little warm. Ooh, got a rolling boil going here. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I'm going to add in all of those vegetables and the chicken that I pulled off the bones. All that's coming. Oh, this looks so rich. And I'm going to toss these since I don't have a dog. And you would really wouldn't want to give the dog this anyway. Dogs and little bones don't agree. Okay. Now is the time to add some pasta. And I am using a handful of thin spaghetti that I have broken into like little two inch pieces. I got that handful in. I'm going to give it a good swish. My find little pieces. There's a little bit of skin that I missed. And you'll find things that you miss. It's okay. Just get it out. Now, give this a good turn. I'm trying to decide if I need a little more. I'm thinking, yes, I probably do. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, I'll put those in. Now, I think that's going to be enough for this pot. Okay. Now, I am going to leave this on low and let it simmer until time for dinner. Voila! Okay, now this is on low. I'll probably cut it up just a tiny bit, but I want to add a few peas in. Just a little bit. You know, greens are always good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Now, the pasta is still working. As you stir, you find neck. A little hot. Okay. Top on. Low simmer. And when I take this pot off the next time, we're going to be ready to sit down to dinner. Are you ready to see what tonight's dinner is going to look like? Well, here she is. We have delicious chicken noodle soup, homemade by Mama. So, tonight we're going to have chicken noodle soup. We've got delicious bread. We even have, I threw in a few chicken wings just for something extra. And 
dinner is served. Wow, what a week. The kids are out. They are ready for vacation. And are you feeling the exhaustion already? To each of you, I pray that you have good vitamins because those kiddos are ready for everything that you can possibly put out. Now, I am hoping that you will take the time to subscribe down below and that you will come back next week and that you'll tap that bell so you can receive notices and know exactly when I upload. Next week we may have some surprises and we may do a few things a little differently in our kitchen. So stay tuned, come back next week, and I look forward to seeing you in my kitchen. Be blessed.